The day Henry met a feather boa. <laughs> Hello, feather boa. Hello, Henry. How are you today, feather boa? I feel great, Henry, darling. You can't beat the life of a feather boa. Whatever the outfit, whatever the occasion, I can make even the shyest party goer look and feel fabulous. Oh, yes, very glamorous. There sure are a lot of clothes in this shop, feather boa. Well, this is a vintage clothes shop, Henry. So we sell classic clothes and accessories from the past. We have clothes from the 60s. Hello, Hello Henry. Henry. The 70s. Hello, Henry. And the 80s. Hello, Henry. Hello, everyone. And what era of fashion are you from, Feather Boa? I'm from the most glamorous decade of all, Henry, the 1920s. Hmm, Feather Boa, there doesn't seem to be any clothes here. Oh, I know, Henry. And I'd love to introduce you to them all, but they all had to leave urgently, and they've been acting rather suspiciously. Why is that, Feather Boa? They wouldn't say, Henry. It's a real mystery. I'm sure they haven't gone far. Why don't you go and look for them? Oh, I'd love to, Henry, but I'd need a private investigator to help me do that. If only there was one around. That gives me a great idea, Feather Boa. I could become a private investigator and we could solve the case of the suspicious clothes together. That's a great idea, Henry. It was a day like any other. That was until she walked into my life and dropped this hot potato in my lap. It was the case of the suspicious clothes, and something was telling me this wasn't going to be no walk in the park. The city had some secrets, and she wouldn't give them up easily. It was up to me, Private Investigator Henry, to crack the case. What does that mean, Henry? It means I need to use my super-duper private investigating skills to follow the clues and find out what your friends are up to. All we need is a clue. Private Investigator Henry's office. Yes, yes. Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Goodbye. Henry, a fedora hat has been spotted at the cake shop, a zoot suit sighted at the record shop, and a pair of brogues spied at the balloon shop. There's no time to waste, then, Feather Boa. This is the lead we needed. Let's get investigating. <laughs> There goes Fedora Hat, Henry. Hmm, interesting. That's my friend Zoot Suit, Henry. Hmm, most curious. There goes Pair of Brogues, Henry. I see them, Feather Boa. You're doing a great job, Henry. Look at all those clues. Let me see. We have Fedora Hat buying a cake, Zoot Suit buying records, and Pair of Brogues buying balloons. Hmm, what am I missing? What is it, Henry? It's another clue, Feather Boa. The answer you seek lies at the jazz club. Leave immediately, dressed nice, signed a friend. What does it mean, Henry? Hmm, it's all starting to fall into place, Feather Boa. Let's get to the jazz club. Quick! What's going on, Henry? I can't see a thing. Surprise! Surprise! Just as I suspected, Feather Boa. The reason everyone was acting so suspiciously was they were all out planning a surprise party. Just for you, because you're such a good friend. Oh, how wonderful. Thank you ever so much, everyone, and thank you, Henry. It's all in a day's work for Henry, the private investigator. Now, let's get this party started. Hooray! The day Henry met a feather boa. He laughed along with everyone. The day Henry met a feather boa. He made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me feather boa. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me solve the case of the suspicious clothes. You're welcome. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye, everyone. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met... A taxi! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, how you doing, Henry? I'm great.
great, thanks, Taxi. How are you? I'm just superb, thanks, Henry. Every day I get to drive in this beautiful city of mine, the city that never sleeps, the Big Apple, New York City. Hello, Henry. Hello, New York City. Wow, that's the tallest, hustliest, bustliest city I've ever seen. How does everyone get around? You got plenty of options, Henry kid. You can take the bus. Hello, Henry. You can take the subway. Hello, Henry. You can even take the ferry. Hello, Henry. But if you want the true New York experience, you need to take a taxi cab. Like me, Henry. A good taxi knows the street like the back of their tailpipe. So they get you where you need to go as quickly as possible. That's so interesting, taxi. Oh, what does that light mean? That means my shift is about to start, Henry. All I need to do now is wait for my driver to arrive. Taxi! Taxi! I got some terrible news! The taxi driver has gone to the ball game and won't be back in time for his shift. Looks like you're on your own, kid. Oh, no! What am I gonna do, Henry? I can't start my shift without a driver to help me pick up passengers. Oh, if only there was another one around! That gives me a great idea, Taxi! I could become a taxi driver and we can head out into the Big Apple and pick up some passengers together! That's a great idea, Henry! Taxi! Sounds like somebody needs a ride. Fasten your seatbelt, Henry kid. Will do, taxi. Will do. Whee! <laughs> Hello, pretzel. <laughs> Welcome to Henry's Super Duper Taxi Service. Where can we take you today? Central Park, please. No problem, pretzel. Bada bing, bada boom. Next stop, Central Park. Here we are, pretzel. Shakes, Henry. You're doing great, Henry kid. We got our first passenger to the destination safely and in record time. Thanks, taxi, but there's no time to waste. There's still plenty of people out there that need picking up. Let's go! Taxi! Madison Square Garden, please. Sure thing, hot dog. Thanks, Henry. Taxi! Times Square, please. No problem, coffee mug. Thanks, Henry. Taxi! The Empire State Building, please. Okay, Gorilla. Thanks, Henry. You're doing a fantastic job, Henry kid. But my shift's almost over. We only have time for one more passenger. Taxi! And it looks like they're just ahead. Hello, Donut. Where are you heading to today? I'd like to catch the ferry to Liberty Island, please. I'm supposed to be visiting the Statue of Liberty with my friends, but I'm running late and the tour starts any moment now. Can you help? Sure thing, Donut. We'll have you there in no time. Uh-oh. Jeez Louise, what are we gonna do, Henry kid? The ferry to Liberty Island is all the way on the other side of town and it leaves in five minutes. We'll never make it on time. Leave it to me, taxi. I know these streets like the back of my hand. Just in time to catch the last ferry to Liberty Island. That was some driving, Henry kid. Thanks, taxi. It was all in a day's work for Henry the taxi driver. Now, who wants to see the Statue of Liberty? Oh, yeah. Henry met a taxi. He laughed along with everyone. Henry met a taxi. He met lots of That's my mum calling me, Taxi. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for being the best taxi driver ever and helping me with my shift. You're welcome. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met. At your <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Henry. How are you today, Toolbox? I feel wonderful, Henry. It's great living here in the workshop. You just can't beat the smell of freshly cut timber in the morning. Mm. What do you think, Henry? Oh, 
yes, Toolbox. Very, mm, woody. It must be very handy having all these different types of wood around. I'm sure you've made lots of interesting things. I sure have, Henry, but I don't do it all by myself. I have a carpenter to help me. A carpenter? What's that, Toolbox? A carpenter is someone who specialises in making things out of wood, Henry. Like a rocking horse. Nay! Hello, Henry. Coloured building blocks. Hello, Henry. Or even a cupboard. Hello, Henry. Hello, everyone. Oh, and what's this over here, Toolbox? Oh, that's my job list for today. But before I can start on that, I need to wait for the carpenter to arrive. Oh, Toolbox, we forgot to tell you. The carpenter got a splinter in his finger. Had, Had to go, go home, home to get, get a, a plaster. plaster. <laughs> Oh, no, this is terrible news, Henry. I'll never get all my jobs done at this rate. If only there was another carpenter around to help. That gives me a great idea, Toolbox. I could become a carpenter, help out in your workshop, and we can get all your jobs done together. That's a great idea, Henry. OK, Toolbox, what's on your job list for today? Let me see. Today we have to make a spice rack for the kitchen, patch a leaky roof on the dog kennel, and make a new spoiler for a go-kart. That seems like a very long list, Toolbox. How will we ever get it all done? Don't worry, Henry. We have plenty of friends to help us. Hi, Henry. I'm Saw. I use my serrated teeth to cut wood down to the right size. But be careful, I'm very sharp. <laughs> hey, Henry, I'm Chisel. I use my super sharp edge to carve wood into the right shape. <laughs> Hi, Henry. I'm Hammer. I use my tough, heavy head to knock in the nails that join the different pieces of wood together. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Looks like we're all set then, Toolbox. Let's get to work. There you go, herbs and spices. Thanks, Thanks Henry. Henry. There you go, dog. Thanks, Henry. <laughs> There you go, go-kart. Thanks, Henry. Vroom, vroom. You're doing a fantastic job, Henry. That's all my DIY jobs done, and we're way ahead of schedule. You make a great carpenter. Thanks, Toolbox. I guess that means it's time for a well-earned tea break. Excuse me, can you help me, please? Oh, hello, Tiny Bird. What's the matter? My bird nest blew away in last night's storm, and now I don't have anywhere to live. Would you be able to make me a new birdhouse, please? Of course. It would be our pleasure. One tiny birdhouse for one tiny bird. That should be easy peasy. Oh, but it has to fit my friends in too. Oh, and me. And me. And me. Oh, don't forget me. Oh, dear. Looks like we'll have to go back to the drawing board, Henry. Don't worry, Toolbox. There's no job too big for Henry the Carpenter. <laughs> for you and all your tiny bird friends. Wow, that's amazing. Thanks, Henry. Well done, Henry. Not only did we get all my DIY jobs done, but we also built the biggest, most amazingest birdhouse in the world. We sure did, Toolbox, but I couldn't have done it without everyone's help. Now, who wants to feed the birdies? Hooray! Hooray! The day Henry met the Toolbox, he laughed a lot. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me get all my DIY jobs done and build the best bird ass ever. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met. Hello, Henry. Hello, Mum. Today, Leaflet. I'm great, thanks, Henry. I just love working at the museum because we have so many interesting displays. We have a model blue whale, Hi. a statue of a Roman centurion, Hello. and an animatronic caveman scene. Hiya! Wow! 
It gets even better, though, Henry. Today is the grand opening of our brand new exhibition, the Big Dino Bone Extravaganza! And what's this over here, Leaflet? That's our star attraction, Henry. A complete skeleton of the largest animal that ever walked the Earth, Argentinosaurus. That looks amazing, Leaflet. It'd be my pleasure to take you on a tour, Henry, but we're still waiting for the museum curator to arrive so they can add the finishing touches to the exhibits. A museum curator? What's that? It's someone who looks after all the artifacts in the museum and decides where to put things on display. Ours should be here any moment now. Leaflet, I have some terrible news. The museum curator has accidentally locked themselves in a crate and gotten shipped to the dinosaur bone dig in Montana. Oh no, Henry! If we don't have all the displays ready, the exhibition will be ruined! And all these visitors will be disappointed! Oh. oh, if only there was another museum curator around to help! That gives me a great idea, Leaflet! I could become a museum curator and we can get all the exhibits ready in time for the big Dino Bone extravaganza together! That's a great idea, Henry! Okay, Leaflet, which crate should be open first? How about... This one. Hello, Henry. I'm a Utah raptor claw from a species of bird-like dinosaur that lived in the USA 126 million years ago. Okay, Henry, where should we display Utah raptor claw? I think we should put it with the rest of the skeleton over here. Good thinking, Henry. And now for a bit of lighting. Thanks, Henry. That's one dinosaur bone down, another 100 bazillion to go. There you go, Stegosaurus skeleton. Thanks, Henry. I used to plates on my back and spikes on my tail for protection. Swoosh! There you go, Quetzalcoatlus skeleton. Thanks, Henry. I'm a species of pterosaur and the largest known flying animal of all time. <coughs> there you go, T-Rex skeleton. Thanks, Henry. My jaws have the strongest bite of any animal that has ever lived. Roar! You're doing so well, Henry. As soon as you've finished assembling, the Argentinosaurus skeleton will be all set. No problem, Leaflet. I just need to attach the last bo... Uh-oh. The box is empty. What are we going to do, Henry? Our star exhibit can't go on a display with a missing bone. Don't worry, Leaflet. It must be around here somewhere. Hello, caveman. Have you seen an Argentinosaurus bone? We haven't, I'm afraid, Henry. We've been too busy discovering fire. Hello, Blue Whale. You haven't seen an Argentinosaurus bone anywhere, have you? Sorry, I haven't, Henry. I've been too busy practicing my whale song. Ooh. Hello, Roman Centurion. I don't suppose you've seen an Argentinosaurus bone, have you? I'm afraid not, Henry. I've been too busy standing guard. It's no use, Henry. We've looked high and low, and we still haven't found that missing bone. Wait a minute, Leaflet. Can you hear something? It's coming from inside here. Excuse me, sarcophagus. Would you mind opening up, please? Of course not, Henry. The, the missing, missing bone! bone! Phew! Thank you ever so much, Henry. I just wanted a closer look at this here sarcophagus and got trapped inside. That's okay, Dino Bone. Now, let's get you back to where you belong. You did it, Henry! Thanks, Henry! You're welcome. Now, who wants to see the big Dino Bone extravaganza? That's my mum calling me, Leaflet. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me get all the exhibits ready in time for the Big Dino Bone Extravaganza! You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met. A hockey stick. <laughs> Stick. Well, hello, Henry. How are you today, Hockey Stick? Well, I feel great, Henry. I'm just practicing my puck handling skills. I have to make sure I'm in tip-top form. Ooh. What is that then, Hockey Stick? It's the final game of the Big Ice Hockey Championships, Henry. 
Whoever wins today's game lifts the championship trophy. Oh, I just can't wait to get out on the ice. That sounds very exciting, Hockey Stick. But mm, I can't see any ice around here. <laughs> That's because ice hockey is played on an ice rink, Henry. Let me show you. <laughs> <laughs> this tin sheet of ice is called an ice rink, Henry. Players use their skates to skim around on the ice, then use their hockey sticks to try and hit the puck into the opposing team's net to score a goal. Whoever scored the most goals at the end of the game wins. Wow, that looks like a lot of hard work, hockey stick. But since you've been practicing so hard, I'm sure you'll do just fine. Hockey stick, hockey stick, I have some terrible news. Your hockey players lost their ice skates and they won't be able to make it in time for the big game. What are you going to do? Oh no, Henry, this is a disaster. I can't play in the big ice hockey championship without an ice hockey player by my side. If only there was another one around. That gives me a great idea, hockey stick. I could become an ice hockey player and we can play in the big hockey championships together. That's a great idea, Henry. Ladies and gentlemen, people of all ages, it's the final game of the big hockey championship. Preparing to face off is Henry and hockey stick. <laughs> okay, Henry, this is called a face off. The game will start when the buzzer sounds and the puck is dropped into play. Okay, guys, I want a good, clean game. No pushing, no shoving, and no tripping. Everybody ready? Ready! Then may the best team win. Yeah. This looks like it's going to be a lot harder than I thought, Hockey Stick. There's still plenty of time left, Henry. Don't give up. Okay, Hockey Stick, here goes. Oh dear, Hockey Stick. We'll never win the big hockey championships at this rate. We haven't even scored a single goal yet. Oh, don't worry about that, Henry. If we just try to relax and have fun out there, I'm sure we'll be scoring goals in no time. Good thinking, Hockey Stick. Let's get back out on the ice. Everybody ready? Ready. ready. Game on! Yeah! <laughs> Henry, we got our first goal. We sure did, Hockey Stick, but there's still plenty of work left to do. Let's go! The scores are tied and we're in the closing moments of the game. Wow, what a comeback. Okay, Henry, it all comes down to this. I hope you're ready. Leave it to me, Hockey Stick. Championship, but we even won the game and the trophy. We sure did, Hockey Stick. But most importantly, we all had lots and lots of fun. Now, who wants to play again? Hooray! Henry met a Hockey Stick. He laughed along with everyone. Henry met a Hockey Stick. He made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me hockey stick. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me win the big hockey championship and take home the trophy. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum.